Hello, YouTubers, and welcome back to Go Figure Customs YouTube channel. It's been uh, an interesting week for toy reviews. Every a uh, bunch of cool shit has hit all at once. It first started with the uh, Retro Cobra Stinger, which I have that review up on, uh, and then quickly followed by the Megatron Hiss, which turned out to be a pretty cool figure, and shortly followed after that was the... Uh, Bumblebee Awestriker, which I fucking absolutely love. That is probably one of the coolest toys I've seen in a long time. And today, uh, I figured since it seems to be toy review, you know, toy review week, what's one more? Uh, today, I got my pre-order from Boss Fight Studios for uh, the female Knights of Asperity figure, uh, which I've... I'm just gonna just hold up the card art real quick because yeah, I I opened this bad boy up, bad girl up. The second I got it, because I've been waiting for this figure since they announced it, uh, I think a female knight figure is long overdue. And I know there is a female knights of accord figure. If it's not out, it's it should be soon. Uh, but here's the packaging. I've already taken it off. Uh, I love the artwork. Um, I'd never been tempted to keep one of the boss fight stuff on the card because the figures are so awesome uh, that I just I just take them right out of the package. I've I've never never kept anything on the card. Kind of wish I'd kept one of the original Knights of Asperity on the uh, on the card um, just because it's such an awesome figure. I bought like four of those things. I customized like three of them and uh, I still have one left, but I, I wish I'd had a whole army of those things. I'm not a, much of an army builder. If I get more than one figure, uh, it's usually no more than like say five. Um, Cause I think a junk, I bought a bunch of like the Pursuit of Cobra Jungle Vipers. Uh, I've got a, uh, like three of the 50th anniversary Heat Vipers. Um, but that's, that's about it. I mean, I don't, I don't, not technique, not usually an army builder, but the Knights of Asperity, I kind of wish I had army built that. Um, again, the art's pretty cool. Uh, I left the interchangeable hands in there. I'm not going to throw away the packaging. I just don't want to lose the extra hands. Uh, and I'm definitely not going to take the time to read that bio that's on the back, but it's pretty cool. Uh, and then it shows one of the other figures that's coming out in this wave, which is Sigar the Traveler, Barbarian Adventurer, uh, which also looks pretty cool. It uh, looks like just a uh, kit bash and repaint of stuff that's already out. Um, but, you know, that's so it goes. So this is not a kit bash and repaint of stuff that's already out. This is an all new mold. And I have the figure right here in front of me. Uh, so I've got her uh, other head on. It comes with a different head, which I'll show you here in a minute. And it has a removable helmet for the skull underneath, which I, I absolutely love that. I don't know what it is about, like, skull-headed things. It's one of the reasons I love the Range Viper, the G.I. Joe Range Viper, so much. Uh, mine's wet <laughs> because uh, I heated up the shoulder armor. to peg her claymore sheath into, and I didn't get her helmet back on right, to peg her claymore sheath into the, there's two holes in the shoulder armor. You can see one of them right there. Uh, and the claymore, let's pull that claymore out. That is a fantastic weapon. I love the sculpt of that thing. It is amazing. Uh, but I heated mine up to peg it in there better and then ran in under some cold water to get that plastic to retain that shape. Uh, so that's a little quick tip and trick. I couldn't just, like, it just, it won't peg in there. The, the peg started to bend, so it was easier just to heat it up and pop it in, stretch out the plastic a little bit, pop it in there, and then run in under some cold water to get it to retain that shape. Um, armor on the side is loosely is it's attached but it it moves with the figure which is cool and then like a little loin cloth that moves with it on the belt uh newly sculpted 
boots with a little bit of a heel, so you can definitely tell that they're, you know, they're female, but uh, not like stiletto heels that you'd go, you wouldn't go into battle with. Although I think stiletto heels would be cool, kind of cool on like a, maybe a sorceress or a, some sort of witch figure, um, which kind of makes me want to customize something like that now. Um, the shield uh, is an all new design from what I've seen. I haven't been getting a lot of boss fight stuff recently. Um, the fantasy line, well, I do like it. Um, it's pretty limited to what I do like. And a lot of it is just been stuff that I haven't needed, or there's been other stuff that I want instead. Uh, I do pick up the occasional figure for customs, obviously, because I did post that uh, kind of undead Loki figure uh, recently. And I've done Day of the Dead, like three Day of the Dead figures um, based on some art of a Facebook buddy of mine. Um, you can see those on my customizing page. But the uh, shield is really cool, and we've got it just the perfect light to show you here. Uh, she It has a new mount, and then at the top and bottom of the mount are loops. So you could tie a little bit of string in there and uh, make that shield slingable, which I think is fantastic. I think that's an awesome idea. And there's also some loops along the side of the inside of the shield where uh, some sort of weapon could be stored in there. Some sort of uh, knife or uh, small sword would go in there pretty well. Um, I just happen to have weapons sitting here. Those aren't actually loops, they're open clips which means uh, larger weapons are going to fit in there. So I had a translucent sword from probably all the way back from when I backed the first Kickstarter, but I think it's uh, a pretty cool weapon, kind of glowing sword. Um, I might customize it a little bit and paint the handle, uh, the metallic silver, uh, to kind of make it look like a flaming weapon, uh, but it clips right in there. Uh, and one of the other weapons that she comes with, and this confused me and thanks to the folks on Facebook for helping me with this, um, is it, it came with uh, Halibred. Uh, mine just came, uh, the, there's an adapter that came on the lance and it looked like it was all one piece. So I'm like, why does this? And then the staff has a male part. So I'm like, I have two male parts and I really wanted to give her the Halibred. But this part right here, which I'm not going to take off because it's on there really good now, um, came on this lance head here on mine. Uh, and I thought it was all one piece. And I'm like, what the hell? I mean, the lance head's cool and all, but it's not the weapon that I wanted to give her. I wanted to give her the halberd instead of the lance. Uh but thanks to Vitruvian Armories for uh, letting me know that piece is removable. And I could give her the Halibred, and that's the weapon that I wanted to give her. Um, the other thing that came in the pack, of course, comes with a figure stand. Uh, it also comes with an interchangeable head. Which is pretty cool. I mean, I like the sculpt of the helmet for sure. Ah, uh, see, mine. Mine unpegged, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to heat that up and get it in there again. So there is the other head. Uh, I am planning on getting at least one more of these because I really like this figure. So I'll, I'll do one with the skull helm head and one with the, with the, um, with that armored head, lost her, her claymore again. So that's kind of my only complaint is the, well, it looks like it should peg in pretty easily. It does not peg in very well. Uh, if I really wanted to get into customizing this, I would. what I would do is I would put a small rare earth magnet inside the back of the armor because there's definitely room, I would just glue it in there and then I would um, mount a, another small rare earth magnet into the sheath of the claymore and they would just magnetize on there. Uh, it wouldn't be that hard to customize. Um, I just don't, I don't want to 
screw with it. But uh, that is the female Knights of Asperity. The head always seems to sit, the helmet doesn't always seem to sit well. Uh, let me get the male Knights of Asperity here for a comparison for you. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but the there is definitely, uh, they definitely have done some paint change. Uh, and either that or mine's just faded, but the paint on the female knight of asperity is slightly better. Um, there's, uh, it's definitely more metallic and has more of a sheen to it, more of an armored sheen to it. Um, of course, mine just may be old. I don't know. But man, I really like these figures. They're fantastic. Uh, I did a Skeletor custom using this this face, uh, this body too, which turned out really nice. I'm really happy with that. Uh, and then I also have, I backed a Kickstarter for the horse. Uh, I have the armored on there. I was trying to customize it to um, put the wings on there as well, uh, but ugh, I can never pose the legs right. Uh because I have the Zorro and my the legs always look wonky on the on the horse on my Zorro figure, um, and I have the have it holding the axe. I love the axe. Um, so I, one of the things that I still need for my Knights of Asperity is there's a lance or a, like a, a a jousting kit uh, with a different head. It almost kind of looks like a plague doctor head, and then a really cool. Uh, lance and then a shield with a, a cutout for the lance uh, i i missed picking that up uh, but i saw that it was available it was going to be available again either through big bad toy store or boss fight i don't remember which so i ordered that uh, what i'm going to do is there is a 10th anniversary of the knights of asperity figure coming out pretty soon uh, i'm going to get a couple of those one to keep as is, and then I'm going to turn one into the uh, Lancer, or the Jouster, so it'll be um, different than the original. Uh, so, customizability, um, it comes, you can do a lot of stuff just with what's in the package. There's an extra set of hands, kind of a, like, outsplayed fingers. Uh, you've got the um, Claymore that it, it she comes with uh and then the shield is e uh, easily customizable by adding weapons or putting some string in there to make it slingable um and then the interchangeable head of course and uh of course then you could repaint these in any color that you wanted to uh, uh you know the just you could do anything with this i think like a dark metallic red would look really cool on these um, i'm not going to do anything else with this I love this figure as is. Um, in fact, I think the one year, I don't remember where, but like the Knights, male Knights of Asperity figure was voted like one of the top 10 figures. I don't know that it was of all time, but it was certainly of that year. Um, and with good reason, these are fantastic figures. I, the quality is, is top notch. They're the customizability. They were designed to be customized, uh, which I do love. And, uh, but just straight out of the box, they're, they're fun to play with. Um, any, any stiff joints, it's worth heating it up. I heated it up with the blow dryer for about 30 seconds or not even 30 seconds, like five seconds. And it loosens everything up just fine. Uh, I would not recommend heating it up, um, doing the boil and pop kind of thing, uh, with metallic paint, uh, you may lose some of your finish. Uh, if you boil it, but you will not lose finish if you heat it up with a hairdryer. So that is the Female Knights of Asperity. Uh, a fantastic figure to be sure. Uh, they are available through Boss Fight Studios shop at this moment, uh, obviously, because that's where I got mine. And then uh, I do believe Bo uh, Big Bad Toy Store has them up for pre-order. Uh, they're usually the last ones to get stuff. And I would assume there's probably other places online, but those are the um, places where I get my stuff. And then of course, they're probably on eBay somewhere. Um, retail's probably right around 25 bucks, I think, on on the boss fight stuff. I think I think 
think it's 20, 23, 25, 27, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, and I do think it's absolutely worth that price. Uh, it's high quality. It's a fantastic figure. It's highly articulated. It's the sculpt is amazing and it's just a fun figure all around. I have, uh, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. Packaging's awesome, playability is awesome, and the customizability was designed to be customized, uh, even though it really doesn't need to. I mean, you've got enough equipment in the it, that comes with her to customize it. So uh, that's about all I got for this particular video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, put them in the uh, area below and as always uh, or in the comments below and as always please do that fun social media stuff like share subscribe comment below and as always thanks for watching and stay tuned for more stuff